Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase this time. Of course, of course, we are playing Tainted Henry. Now this guy, from what I've heard, is pretty interesting. Uh, let's take a look at the Steam page for him. So this guy has a passive that when you take damage in an uncleared room, you can spawn a poop. He starts with uh, flush, but when he uses it, you actually get flushed yourself and you die. Uh, but you can find these poop heart pickups that will give you the ability to resurrect and survive the flush. The poop hearts have a 15% chance to drop from any poop except red. And after you resurrect, you spawn with half a heart. You can get rewards such as dips, uh, of various different kinds uh, and also um, chances for items of the pool that you're currently in too. So I'll have to see how this guy works. I, I, like I, I kind of understand it based on the description but I'll be honest it's still a little bit um, a little bit sort of strange. He does start with a school bag. I like the way he starts with a halo as well. That's rather nice. Um, yeah let's just give him a go and see see how it goes. So we really don't want to be using flush until we have one of those hearts. But just, just for research sake, I just want to see, does this just end the run? Yes, it does. Okay. I thought it would. I thought it would, but I thought I have to try it. Um, ooh, this is a pretty good starting area here. Um, so these still give dips as they, as they should. So all of the normal Henry aspects that we've gotten used to with the uh, non-tainted version are still fully in effect, which is brilliant uh, because we saw how crazy that got. I'm guessing we can still get synergies from familiars and stuff. Oh, so there's a heart, but that's not a poop heart, I don't think. We did get Big Fan here, honestly. Not a big fan of Big Fan. It's decent, but it's not going to do much for us. Uh, although it is a familiar, so I do wonder if there's any synergy. God damn, this thing's taking a really long time to kill. Like, an obscenely long time. Okay, this guy's firing at such rapid paces right now. My Jesus, this has been a long room. I just want to skip with my life. God damn. Okay, so I don't know if this character has one of the has the similar thing that um that Dirty Mind has. So Dirty Mind actually does give a small chance that each uh, rock can be replaced by a poop. I don't know if this character gets that same um that same sort of incentive. Ah. Oh, Bloody hell, really? So, I don't know, like, it says about finding the poops. I don't know if we need to be getting hit on purpose to try and spawn poops. Um, to try and get these additional hearts. Oh, hello. Little baby. Thank you. It'd be interesting if that was the case, but also I can completely understand that, that might be a little overpowered. We do not have, unfortunately, the item that generates poops when we hit enemies anymore. That one that we had in the last room was a 3% chance to spawn a poop when you uh, hit an enemy and it kills the enemy. We no longer have that, so that's definitely um, something key that we're missing to generate our extra dips and stuff like that. So we're going to have to be a little bit wary. But I'm very interested to see how this guy plays out. Now, obviously this isn't the greatest. The Necronomicon here um, isn't bad. Necronomicon and Flush are kind of one and the same, really. Uh, of course, Flush has extra utility for this character. But in terms of what they achieve, it's very similar. Very, very similar. I would say that Flush is definitely better. Um, but Necronomicon is still pretty darn good. One thing as well we got to remember is that on using Flush, you generate poops from the enemies. Um, so that's another thing to think about. This is a very, very annoying boss to get this early on. I'm going to try and use this bomb here. Yes. This make our life way easier. Because this guy still has that 0 0.8 times damage down. So we are going to get a little bit less... A little bit less damage, really. Okay. Oh, so there's one of our there's one of our poop hearts. We did get one there, but hmm, we'll definitely take the pony. We'll go and get our bookworm as well. Um, hmm, I'm a bit confused there because I definitely picked up one of those poop hearts, but I don't see it anywhere. So I I know I don't actually know if I have the ability to resurrect right now or not. I feel like I don't, and I don't want to test fate. But also, I did pick one up, so I should. Book of Mormon. And I guess cookbook. Okay, we actually didn't really get anything worth keeping there, I don't think. I think I'm just going to keep what I've got going on. Now, my health right now is very low, so I do have to be careful of that. I could maybe buy a heart from in here, potentially. Buy a soul heart. Thank you. Might as well buy that as well. Okay. Yeah. 
not exactly sure when slash how to use flush. I'll be honest. I feel as if this is going to be a bit of a difficult timing sort of thing. Like a Necronomicon, you can stay there. Unfortunately, the books were not much use to us, but getting Bookworm is always is always nice. It's a good first floor regardless. I like that. I love it. I want some more of it. Right. We can use the pony to get out of here for free, so we might as well. Oh, we got a dip from ent for entering here. I didn't realize that was the thing that you could get. Lovely. I've also got the Black Pony Synergies thing on, and I don't have any errors in my console right now. Lovely. I should have really just waited for that guy to bomb that for me, but oh well. Lovely. Yeah, I want to try and use Flush right now, but I will lose all of my HP. Um, I kind of want to use it on a big room as well. Uh, yeah, I will use I will lose all of my HP for doing that, and also um, I have the chance of it not actually reviving me because I'll be honest, I don't remember if. Uh, what, why are these red champions so healthy? How much health do these guys have? This is insane. God damn. Yeah, I also don't actually know if I did get one of those hearts or not. I feel like I definitely did, but oh, this is ridiculous. There's just so many of these. Crazy ass champions with insane amounts of HP right now. Like this is a perfect room to use flush on. I mean, none of these guys can actually light a fire, so saves us a little bit of trouble. Mongo baby, we will take. Mongo baby should be pretty good for us regardless. Oh, we got the all stats of hell yeah, hell yeah. I like that. Um, yeah, because it's going to, um, our dips will adopt the fe effect from him, but we're not getting all that many dips right now. But yeah, um, it'd be maybe nice with this character specifically to have the ability to generate some poops in other ways other than just on hit. Uh, but may maybe the whole point is you've got to sacrifice your health to make this guy work. Maybe. Okay, yeah, our, our, our dip is shooting, I think. No, it's not. Okay, okay. We don't have any extra powers with our dip as this character right now. Really? Can't believe I missed that guy. But Mongo Baby's still pretty decent regardless. Yeah, I'm finding it a little difficult with this guy so far to figure out where and when to use my abilities. I want to hold off for a little bit, but I, I also don't want to leave it too long. Good. A lot of chasey boys here. Still though, absolutely love the idea of Henry as a playable character. I'm actually surprised it took this long. I'm surprised it was this long until someone was like, yes, Henry should be playable. It seems bizarre, really. Okay, so there's some of the hearts there. Oh god, I got hit so much there. There's just, it's weird that there's no UI for them, right? It's not just me. That is strange, right? It's weird. It's like, it, it makes me wary to use it, because I can't actually see. Oh, wait, no, 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 there is a counter. It's at the very bottom left, I see now. Weird that it's all the way down there. I, I'll, I'll fully admit, people will be like, you're blind, turtle, you're blind. My microphone perfectly covers the bottom left of my screen, and I literally didn't see it until I moved my head to the right. <laughs> I literally couldn't see that until I moved slightly. Um... Rotten Humbling Bundle sounds intriguing. I don't actually know what that does, but I'll take it. And I think I'll just take that for now. So, I can get a few revives going here. Also, we've got two really big flies there for some reason. I'm going to try and get an extra penny here so that I can uh, utilize my shop. So, let's try and maybe use Flush in this next room. Uh, <laughs> of course. Doot, doot. Um... Secret roomy. Secret room could be here. Yes, it is. Lovely. The Emperor. Unfortunately, still no pennies. I can go in here, though, and get this, which I very much like. <laughs> we'll just Mama Mega that guy. Why not? Ooh. Gr I've not seen this guy before. New, new champion type. That's pretty cool. I like this guy. Oh, what the hell? He did, he spawned into a regular enemy there. It's a bit strange. I'll accept it though. I like the fire puff when he dies as well. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. And it gave me the penny I needed. It gave me the penny I needed. Still don't know what the rotten humble, humbling bundle does at all. Um, right, heading here. <sighs> yes, that's probably pretty good. It's not a great item. I've never really used it before, but I'll take it. Also, I mean, just for the pure visual of Henry with one of those hats on is pretty beautiful. Just for that pure, the, the pure visual of just that. Right, let's try and use flush in here. So this will flush us. Ah, I've got to admit. Okay, we actually got an item here. Um, And it does revive us at very low health. Uh, I've got to admit, one thing I would love to see, which is a slight shame that it doesn't already exist, but I kind of understand. You really should get flushed. Like, it plays the animation of you getting flushed instead of the regular death animation. That would be so much better. Uh, summons a protective ring of glass shards that can block enemies' projectiles before breaking. Unfortunately, not a very good item for us, and it's an active, so it's not really what we want right now. It's not really what we're looking for. I'm a little worried, but remember, we have plenty of revives, although I don't know if... I don't know if the, the, the hearts work as resurrections, even if we don't have, um, even if we don't have flush. Like, I don't know if we have to use flush for it to work. I'm not entirely sure in that regard. But basically, flushing now is, is less, le less useful. We want to be flushing when we have, um, oh god, oh god. We want to be flushing when we have more hearts, because the more hearts we, um, we flush with, the more we lose, the higher chance we have of getting an item, as I understand it. That could be a full health pill. I should try it. It's a 40 hour energy. It's pretty useful, I guess. Well, so far we have three of these soiled hearts, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I just wish the counter was like up here. <laughs> I don't know if I can maybe, maybe it's something you can move. Okay, let's try and flush here because it's a big room. And we will die. That'll use up one of our counters. But basically what I'm thinking here is now we just have a bunch of poops to utilize. Aha. Okay. I didn't think that the poops generated from flush would be able to generate these new hearts. I thought there would be a bar to that to make sure you didn't, like, generate some sort of infinite cycle. But the fact that you can really opens up a lot of avenues to you. In fact, I think something that would be kind of a nice idea for this character um, is maybe making a new item instead of using flush, that does the same thing, but has zero charge, so you can use it whenever you like. Really? What's with all these dog shit items r right now? Come on now. Holy shit, that's a power pill and a half, that is. It's good to know that this other one's a power pill though, because now I can, really, eat up any? This was terrible. I really thought I could just, like, just eat, if you eat a few of these guys to get some HP back. No, no, no. It is not so simple, you see. Crabs cannot be eaten by Pac-Man, apparently. Crab? Get back here. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to understand this guy a lot more now. I, I think there's, there's specific rooms, especially rooms with a lot of enemies, that we always want to use flush in. Because they are likely to give us back one of our soiled hearts. Which I realise is the wrong name for him, because there is actually... Soiled Hearts in Repentance Plus. They look very similar, sir. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we don't seem to have any synergies with our dips. I'm not sure if that's just because Tainted, uh, the Tainted version doesn't get the synergies, which I'd find odd, or if it's just because we, have, we don't have a, a familiar that works with it yet. These crabs are, like, the most troublesome enemies for me. Really? Should I... Guys, what are you doing? Can you, like, chill out, please? Stop with your little clippy nails. Die. Crabbo. Crabbo gets stabbo. Yeah, I, I, flushing on rooms like this isn't really worth it. There needs to be more enemies to flush for it to be worth it, I think. Like, I'd say at least five. There's certainly some room to it, it's going to be very valuable. Problem right now is we need some way to generate more HP, I think.
We need some way to generate more red hearts and stuff. We don't really have right now. Do not like this boss. This boss will probably kill me. He just fires so much. And he also jumps on you and does this really aggressive attack. Don't do it. I hate it. Okay, this one isn't too bad, actually. He didn't jump on me there. Don't do it. There you go. Got him before he tried it. We do have a confessional here. Not that I need it, but this is from the uh, the hat that we got. It's a pretty interesting idea for an item. It's, I feel like it's just pretty niche, but that's not a bad thing. Having a niche shop item, not a bad thing. And it is pretty much all utility as well. I was kind of debating this stuff. So someone in the community, in the modern community, made a rebalance of item pools, which I, I, I was actually fairly interested in. I think it's a pretty decent idea. I think there is some fuckery in the item pools, but there was just a few core things they did that personally I wouldn't do. Um, and we kind of got into, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a heated discussion, but a lot of people got involved and it, and it kind of, it was getting on the side of heated, where basically people were just kind of um, sort of discussing some of the decisions. And one of the things that personally I was really against with what they did, I mean, it's their mod, so they can do that if they want. It's just if they were trying to balance it for people to download, uh, I was making suggestions. But um, one thing that they did that personally I wouldn't do is they switched up the shop pool and most of the changes were pretty much fine. Um, okay, this is rather good for us. Flush is now a little, more, a little bit more valuable. Whoopsie, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm glad I did. Um, they uh, they took out Champion Belt, which honestly I'm fine with, because I think the Champion Belt is the one item, or at least one of the items, that just does not belong in the shop, really. It's good that it's there. By no means am I saying that I don't think it's a good decision, because it's like... It's it's sort of like it's an outlier. It doesn't really belong. It doesn't really fit the theme, but it's only one item out of so many So it's kind of like a nice thing um, Where it's like every other item in my opinion every item in the shop should be Utility based pretty much all of them should be utility based. You shouldn't be getting thing things that are like flat damage um, So it's champion belt really kind of goes against that I mean you can argue there is utility in having more champions to get more consumables But I'd say that's a pretty pretty thin connection pretty, pretty flimsy connection really but, but, because it's like one out of so many items, it kind of makes sense because it's like, oh, it's that rare one chance that you have to get something that isn't utility based and it's kind of nice to find sort of thing. Um, that's uh, decent. Okay, he has uh, been frozen. Lovely. I'll take that, why not? Um, and they they was like, okay, I, I they, they wanted to remove Champion Belt from the pool, which I was pretty much in agreement of. I was like, that's fine. I think that Champion Belt, it doesn't super belong in there, so that's fine. But in lieu of that, they added Lead Pencil. And their reasoning was that it fits the theme of being in a shop, which, in my opinion, was a really, really flimsy connection. Um, it technically is true. You do buy pencils at shops, but you also buy breakfast at shops. You also buy, like, dice at shops. It's like anything can really fit into the theme of a shop if you want it to, I feel like. So, I feel like that wasn't really a great connection. And also, I feel like lead pencil holds no utility. It just offers DPS. And I think it offers significantly more DPS than Champion Bell at that. So... I was a big proponent for saying, nah, that's not, that, that, that doesn't really, that doesn't really fit. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, and pretty much everyone agreed, and, and the, I think the, uh, the developer did end up saying that we are going to change it. Um, which I don't want to bully people into making changes if they don't want to make them, but I think they did kind of understand everyone's point of view on it. And they, they kind of got it. Uh, let's, let's flush in this next room if there's enough enemies. Yes, there is. No item, unfortunately, but we did revive with a few dips and stuff. Ooh, okay, you can get flies and stuff from it sometimes. A lovely little army going here. And then we can use the shop to get back some of our HP. That's actually pretty good, we'll take that. Um, oh, okay, you just died. <laughs> you went straight into that fire. Fair enough. We want it to be out of our life so quickly. Yeah, and I, I think basically there was just sort of this sort of thing of this would have been a perfect room to flush in. 
Damn. Um, it was sort of this argument of just like, what what do you go for? Do you go for theming or do you go for balance? And another, another thing that they did that um, I, I didn't really agree with is something that a lot of people do, to be honest. Whenever they're trying to balance devil deals, whenever they're trying to buff them, the first thing people do is go, get Rotten Baby out of there. Get, um, get Sister Maggie out of there. Get Brother Bobby out of there. They're all shit sort of thing. I completely disagree with that. I think that they are all there for a very, very good reason. Um, and I think that regardless of the fact that a good, a good amount of them are bad, they are there because they are bad. Devil Deals are, is meant to be, because you can take multiple, it's meant to have more bad items in the pool than the Angel does. Everyone just thinks, oh, well, the Angel pool is strong, so I'm just going to... And, and this costs you, so I'm just going to make this pool all good. But I don't really think that's the best way of doing it. I feel like, on average, the... Um, the devil items can be better, and you can buy multiple at once, so... I think it works better that way. <laughs> e. Lovely. So, as I say, can I whack a few... A few girls in the confessional? I mean, I can, but apparently I won't be at all rewarded. Confessionals are just terrible. Can, it, can someone make a mod that makes these even remotely worth giving HP. That was just awful. That was just terrible. I gave it four full hearts and it didn't give me a single payout. Not even an angel percent buff. Like, come on. There's a reason no one likes you. <laughs> now, these are actual flushable enemies, so I just wanted to do that because... Vengeful Spirit, I guess. It's kind of good considering we've got some on-hit effect stuff going on already. Okay. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Yeah, I want to be using Flush a little more often now. I've got so many hearts to work with. Oh, God. Hey, we got some cool dips coming in as well here now. Yeah, I really want to try and use Flush a little more actively. Damn it, that didn't work at all. I tried to do a diagonal to hit both of those guys jumping out of the, uh, both of these dudes, and it just completely missed. I suppose with sack rooms, this, this guy could work well. Like I said, though, it depends on how the, like, do I have to flush to revive, or will I just revive, do I have seven revives now? Because if that's the case, then sacrifice rooms could be pretty crazy. How many enemies are in here? Literally none. I was like, ooh, a great room. A great room. Literally zero enemies in there. This is a good one. This has a lot of enemies. Oh, we got we actually got an item that time. Okay. We might need to flush a lot more than I'm currently flushing. Because, goddamn, I did not expect... Oh, dude. Yeah. Especially considering how many hearts we just got. Okay. I need to use flush way, way more than I'm currently using it. Because I, I had, like, no health there. And I managed to get a thingy. I managed to get an item out of it. I didn't even think I could get an item with that little uh, investment sort of thing. Lovely. Yep, yeah, just keep just keep going. Keep an eye on Flush's charge. Use it whenever there's a room with a good amount of enemies in it. Considering just how many... Um, just how many of those hearts we have right now. We have ten. We have ten. That's so many. Good, good. And it's generating so much other stuff too. I mean, it's better if we have more health than we do it, which is why I was saving it last time. But honestly, knowing I can get something on such low health now... Kind of makes me feel like I should just be using this whenever I can. Lovely. It's kind of an interesting playstyle, actually. Sort of this... Suicidal... Oopsie. So now we figure out... Okay, we do actually, so we, we you do have to be a little bit wary of the fact that you do just straight up die, even if you have those hearts available to you. That is something that I didn't expect, but it kind of makes sense. This, by the way, little chat is very good for us right now. While held, the only boss room items that can appear are ones that modify damage. Oof, that sounds very nice. Hopefully this guy gives us some health. Probably won't be as good of a start as last time, but we'll give this a go. We will give this a go. 
yeah, I, I really kind of like this on the brink of death play style. I really like risk reward in all of my roguelikes, and this seems like a character that has a lot of it. It seems pretty, pretty well set up for a tainted character, to be honest. So we'll probably flush in here. Yeah, flush in here. Wait, that was so stupid. I was like, let's flush in here. And then I realized, I was like, wait a minute. I don't actually have one of those hearts yet, do I? <laughs> that was a really good start to a run as well. It's a, a shame that I uh, died so early there. Okay, yeah. For some reason, I thought I started with one of those flushable hearts. I do not. Very dumb. So basically, getting your first one is like the catalyst. It takes a little while to get your first poop heart, which is kind of strange that you don't start with one, I guess. But I guess that's just... Makes the character a little bit harder in a way. Right, give me something on the level of Little Chad again, please. That's actually pretty good, because we have an on-hit effect. kind of works alongside that. So, one thing that's a little unfortunate here is I feel like if you don't start on the basement, you should just restart, because you're just going to get way more poops on the basement. The cellar and the burning basement, you just don't really see many poops on. So I feel like, yeah, if you want a good start as this character, you kind of have to just re-roll until you get basement. Which is a little bit unfortunate. It's why I say that there maybe should be that uh, small, small chance for any um, any rock to become a poop. I feel like that would maybe like be a good kickstarter to a run. That was really bad. Can you stop throwing bombs and like... Oh, you had to break it, didn't you? Nah, I'm just going to restart until I get... Um... Until I, until I get the right first floor here. There you go. So that, yeah. Very tricky. What the hell's this? Fetus in a fe... What the hell? Fetus in fetu. Uh, spawns one Terraterm Orbital on use. Terraterm Orbitals will die upon taking any damage. Projectiles will pierce through them, um, but they will spawn spiders on room clear. Gain one charge on killing enemies can overcharge. Confused, but give it a go. Also, the name is strange. Get over here, there you go. The conquest, oh. Ah, we got happy poop. Nice, that's pretty cool. It's good to get out. Can you get the fuck over here? What are you doing? <laughs> Stop. So we can't, we can't use it while it's not charged. Okay. Okay. We see, I mean, there's just so many more poops available to us now. I mean, it doesn't guarantee that we get one of those, um... doesn't guarantee that we get what we want, but... a much higher chance. Yeah, I suppose this is kind of an interesting active. Everything's champions at the minute. Honestly, the black flies make this item really, really strong because I'm getting so many more kills than I would normally. Mini haunted chest with found soul in it. Love that. Gotta love some found soul. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Um, found soul, can you like stay next to me, please? Oh my goodness. Okay, this character is rough. <laughs> but it's, it's a tainted character. It's meant to be. Got the intruder here. There you go. We got a soiled heart straight away. Good stuff. We got a second one. Whoa. Um, with the intruder, all of my blue flies, all fire. That's insane. That's absolute insanity. I mean, I know I can't keep my blue flies around, so that's not super good all the time, but that's still pretty crazy. Give me that dip. Oh, it's a spider dip. Oh, the dip fires it as well. Nice. It's a spider dip. I like that. Why not? Okay. Intriguing. Intriguing. I'm, I'm really enjoying this character so far, but yeah, definitely definitely got a tricky start than most. Trickier start than most characters, I'd say. Can you, like, fly into me? There you go. 
I guess we take a Soul Heart. We do have the ability to flush right now, but not enough enemies so far to do it. Stop destroying my poops. I need those. Getting all the pooters out of this. I like the pooters. Okay, uh, I'm going to use Anakin's cookbook in here to try. And um, it's not going to work, is it? Ah, no, no, no. We got one of them. We got one of them. Got some bombs out of it. Guess that's good. You know what? I'll bomb the other one as well. Why not? And it's a speed upgrade. Love it. Right. Haven't really gotten a use uh, use case for it on this floor so far, so let's not bother. Don't need to flush anywhere here. Nice. Good bomb. Yeah, I'm really liking having spider dips here. I'm guessing when you've just got the intruder item, there's just a higher chance of your dips being spider dips. I'm guessing it's just chance based based on the items that you have, which is really nice. Old urn. Um, I think I could just use that now. They stick with. Do they stick with to the next floor? I hope they do. I think they do. We'll find out, won't we? It'll be a little discovery for us. Yeah, they do. Good, nice one. Okay. Um. See how many enemies are in here. Not enough. Holy shit. Explosion's going off like crazy. Hey, we got another soiled heart there. And there's a black heart there. And one of those. Lovely. Oh, we, we have a high chance of getting some stuff out of our next flush. I still need more enemies than this though. Don't need more enemies than this, I think. I want to do it with at least, like, five or six. Dude. I think my pooters are destroying my, my flies. Don't do that to me. It's rude. Go get our item room real quick. We have a soul of Isaac, remember. So, if this isn't good, we can uh, give it a reroll. And I think I'll do exactly that. Do you know what? D10. New D10. I'll take it. I'll take new D10. Okay, this is a good flush room. There's enough enemies in here. It did give us an item as well. It gave us a very good one at that. Okay, just remember our health is low now. But Blood Splosion, very, very good. I can't believe all of these flies fire like that. That's crazy. Oh, there's, there's, there was a tinted rock back there. If I die in this room, it would be really sad because there was a tinted rock right there. Good, good. Hey, there you go. Beautiful. Right, remember we could devolve enemies. I did use it there, but nothing happened. Not quite sure why. I lost all of my flies and stuff as well here. I am without child. Blood explosion. Popping off. Just get one blood explosion going. It starts a chain reaction. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Again, not really enough enemies to make this work. What the hell's this? Turns all blood donation machines into void blood donation. I still don't really get what void blood donation machines do. So I'm not going to take that right now. Damn it, I mistimed that slightly. You can get a really quick kill on pin. If you time a bomb right at the start of the fight. Doesn't matter, we got him anyways. A golden penny was pretty perfect here. We didn't go to our item room, did we? Uh, shop did we? We can go back to our shop here. Pick up all that we can. Pick up all that we can. Back we go. Got that shattered thing again. Ooh, um, we did get this, which is the gift card, which turns everything in the room into a gift, which is pretty interesting. I 
doubt that'll be worth it. I'm going to take this. Keep re-rolling. Hmm. Damn it, that's just spiders. Okay. We leave. We'll take our gift card. That's pretty good. I like that. Oh, wait. We have an item in our item room. What the hell was it? Might as well use that. And secret room. Where are you? I'm... I was going to guess that. Probably here. There you go. And then we can pop that. And not very good, unfortunately, but I'll take it. Spirit Shackles is just kind of okay. Right. And away we go. I really like the way when you hold something above your head, it like perfectly fits into where the halo sits on his head. Looks really nice. Right. Away we go. We got a few uses of flush to go out here. We have a good amount of HP right now from what I remember. So using a flush as soon as possible should yield a good amount here. Should yield quite a bit. Good room for it. Oh, we got to keep our burn heart. We also got chaos out of that. Okay, nice. Whoa! Oh my god, chaos like randomized all my dips. Oh, okay. Chaos with this character is nutty. <laughs> it randomizes all your dips. That's that's pretty incredible. Holy shit, what is going on right now? You just gave me the sigil of Baphomet as well. Wow. Holy shit. This is pretty incredible. What is happening? <laughs> yeah, as long as we get one Soiled Heart back, we're pretty happy. Okay, yeah, this is this is pretty incredible what we got going on so far here. God damn the amount of holy dips. The fact as well that they start in the same place at the start of the room means we get that homing right off the bat there. I like that a lot. You got turned into a ghost. Home in on them. Oh wait, no. I don't think the uh, I don't think they're giving me the herming. Oh no, they are, I think, I think. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I, I honestly can't tell. But yeah, chaos with this character, it slaps. It slaps. It slaps hard. I don't know why sad onions in the shop pool. I what that's very strange, but I'll take it. Use it in this room just for the crazy amount of poops down there. Only got one heart, though, from all that. Not the greatest yield. Yeah, he's getting the, giving us the Herman. Good. And we have... Stone. I guess I could reroll. Wasn't particularly useful. Still have to bomb through just the same. I wonder what happens if I do this with Golden Hearts. I flush with Golden Hearts. I wonder if that has any impact. Oh my god, wait, what the hell? Like charmed specific parts of the uh, <laughs> the centipede, but not the full centipede. Yeah, this is this is pretty wicked. Also, blood explosion. Yeah, really nice on top of the. Uh, on top of all the the rest of the stuff that's going on right now. Sigil of Baphomet is saving our ass too, on numerous occasions. Whoa, it's like a push version. This is cool. Another cool champion here. Ow. Seems quite healthy, but uh, we're taking him out fairly quickly. Finger. Grab it. Unfortunately, with, uh sad onions in the shop because I have chaos. I'm so dumb. 
I was like, unfortunately, these are really bad, but I was like, they're not angel items. I was like, yeah, of course they're not, you doof. Yeah, big doofus. I completely forgot about chaos. Completely forgot about chaos. Right. Let's keep this moving and grooving. Fortunately, yeah, we're not getting a lot of rooms. Oh, we've got a revive there. That's really nice. Not getting a ton of rooms that are super effective with this right now. I'd like more enemies per room, please. Like, a lot more. Soul Heart there, lovely. Like I said, the more that we, the more health we throw away, the better it is for us. Come on, it needs to be more than three enemies, please. I'm looking for a flush opportunity. What did I just say? It needs to be more than three enemies. Hey, we just got another heart there. Lovely. You sigil of Baphomet there to just, uh... Honestly, something I never considered as well is all of the black flies trigger sigil of Baphomet. Okay, we just got a lot of ability to use flush there. Good, 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 good. Right. Use it in this long corridor, I think. No, again, pretty lackluster. Need a lot more enemies. Fuck okay, it, I'm just going to use it on three. I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> oh, damn. That's a lot of golden dips. That's a lot of golden dips. And a lot of um, thingy flies as well. Yellow locusts. Holy damn. So be very careful. I think Bernhardt's like top tier as this character. They see, they can keep you alive. Holy shit. Oh, we found a crawl space by accident there. Nice. We did lose our Bernhardt, unfortunately, though. So that's not, no longer saving us. Bird's eye. Really good. I just, yeah, I'm liking this idea of like, death is basically just awaiting every corner as this character. You gotta be really careful. Oh, apparently I lost my uh, extra life somewhere as well. Uh, I think I think the dying from flush gets rid of it. That's unfortunate, but understandable. Oh, dude! Ah, ah! This invincible guy's really screwing me over right now. Okay, we got a half soul heart back. That's good. Why is every room only got three enemies? Bugger off! I need way more enemies than this. We got the Gishy version of this guy. This is going to be rough here. I could die. I don't really know what this guy does. I'll be perfectly honest. Some of those shots were homing, I think. And oh my god, this guy has a lot of HP. Like a lot of HP. Wow. He's taking a beating. Ow. Okay, we managed to get him. There's more enemies though. What the hell? <gasps> that is clutch as fuck. Wow. Okay, that was that was very very nice. Okay, we're we're in the we're in the running for a decent run here. In the running for a decent running. Ooh, big room, big room. Pop. I don't even, I'm not even going to look how many of these there was. You watched, you watched it was just that one guy. Yeah, I think, I think it actually was. Oh, that was a waste. We got five of these hearts though, so we need to be using this whenever we can, really. Oh, this is a perfect room. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm going to bomb out of this room. Because this room's perfect for flushing. And then come back to it at a later time. Good, good. And now come in here and flush. We got Super Meat Boy. Is, is that a... Oh, yeah. Fully heals us. Nice. Oh, really? There's a part there I can't reach. Health right now is weird because our health looks so strong right now. But if we carry on using flush, 
which I definitely am going to keep doing because I want more items. It, it's, it means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. One second. Right, let's keep, keep on going. Oh, bollocks. Ow. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, flush is ready. I think with this many hearts, we just use it in whatever room comes up. Doesn't matter the amount of uh, enemies. Uh, unless it's a room that has no enemies. And don't bother. What the hell? Oh, this is fine. We should get a good amount of rewards out of this for the amount of health that we lost. Oh, no, no item. Surprising. Oh, no, bugger! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha! Spirit Shackles saved my life. I don't actually know how Spirit Shackle works, I'll be honest. I've, I've never really effectively used it before. Okay, nice. The sigil's helping out. We could buy a soul heart here. I'm really tempted to buy the Curse of the Tower here, just because it's there. Fuck it, why not? It's so dangerous, but I just love the idea of having it. Do we still have flight right now? No, we don't. How the fuck do I do this? Ah, shit. Oh, that was the worst. I just couldn't see what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Anyways, that was a good showcase of this character. Definitely learned what was going on towards the end. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.